Hey guys, this is Smoke Your Spy with a Cub Kid at 4x6, update 1. Uh, this is the frame for it. It's the rear 27 inches of a Cub Cadet 125 narrow frame. It was a hydrostatic, but uh, and that's a Cub Cadet 122 whole front frame. And I welded them together right there. I just butt welded them, and then I, uh, I'm going to brace it up on this side. I already braced it up on that side, but I didn't have enough angle iron. That's all I had left, and I used it all. But it's three foot angle iron there, or two and a half, something like that. And I'm gonna use that as my bracing. It's all welded, and I only did beads on top, beads on top, and or beads on top and bottom, and then on the sides to save wire. But uh, here's a rear view. It's about seven and a half foot long. And I'm guessing that's about how long it'll be with the transmissions in it. Um, it's getting two Cub Kit at three speeds, all stock gearing and everything. It's just going to be like a work tractor. And it's going to have the stock one there and the extra one back here. Down here is where I, they all crack right there. All the, not all of them, but a lot of them right behind the, where the C-channel ends. It didn't on that one. The front one, but it did right on this one. So I welded that all in. And uh, this one has, isn't cracked yet, but it has all this off the back now, so it's probably going to crack. So that's why I'm putting the angle iron in over here to keep it from stressing up with all the stress. Because when the others, if I get on a hill or something, the middle transmission is going to be hanging in the air. If I get on top of a hill, the back one's going to be hanging in the air. But there's more weight in the back than the front, so it'll probably just lift the front wheels off the ground. But, uh, I just wanted to do an update one on it. It's probably going to get the transmissions in it tonight. I would have did one sooner, but I'm using my iPod so I don't have any mounts for a tripod or anything. And so I just did it like that. And another thing is the front end isn't cracked where some of them crack right here with just the little welds they have a couple beads under there so I'll but this one's one this is the worst side it's just a small bead and I just did it along there and this is the better of the two sides I was running a really low I was running like two for my wire speed and uh like 30 for my heat but uh yeah guys that's it I'll be doing more updates and that this goes along with the Kohler K301 engine build because I'm building that engine to put in this frame. So, uh, yeah. See you guys later.